Kyle, how many uh, filmmakers at Sundance had publicists and it's a necessary thing? Most filmmakers I knew had publicists there. Um, I think everyone in competition did and probably most of the films next. I mean, I think if you're playing, you have to know the festival you're playing at. You know, I think if you're playing at a big festival, I mean, Sundance is the second, arguably the second biggest film festival in the world. If you have an opportunity to play there, like it's, you find a way to get a publicist. I mean, it's like, you know, you can get someone, you can find people to work, to, to, to work, you know, relatively cheaply, but it's, it's gonna take some money. It, your job of playing at a festival, I mean, you, you ask yourself, okay, you know what you serve the festival, you provide them content to play. What does a festival provide you? Well, it provides you a platform, A, for people to get to see your film, but theoretically, you, there's so many forms of independent distribution and distribution that, let's put that aside for a second, really the festival's primary purpose for you is the, is the publicity you get, the write-ups you get, the reviews you get, all of that, and you, if that's your main reason for playing there, it costs so much money to get to a festival, so much money to get a film to a festival, at that point, the few thousand dollars plus, you know, you might have to set aside to get a good publicist on board, to me, comparatively, cost-wise, seems imperative. Um, granted, if you're playing a smaller festival, you know, if you're playing in a smaller city without as much press coverage, most small film festivals have a great press team. They usually bring in press teams from New York or LA, and they do the press for the films. And granted, their, their motivation is to publicity for the festival, but they usually can get you pretty good coverage. And it, it just depends, I would say it depends on how many movies are really at the festival, how big of a festival is it, is it your world premiere, is it, you know, these are all the questions you kind of have to ask, because there is a way to do it yourself. Um, but I also think there's so many other things you have to focus on Sometimes it's really nice to be able to have someone worrying about that side. And it's also, I find where publicists become the most useful is they're knowledgeable about, like, the critics. So they're knowledgeable at Variety. There's three critics there, let's say, or something. And they know, they'll say, well, I think this one is going to appreciate your movie the best because I had this other movie that was kind of like it, and he really liked it, and it really helped us. So I'm going to make sure he can go, like, you know, think about that on your own. You're trying to get ready for the festival. You're trying to get materials ready. You're trying to get, like, cast ready, travel ready. And then you're going to have to do research on which critics, and then you don't have the influence to call Variety and say, hey, can this guy review my film? Not to say that publicists always have that influence, and I'm just using Variety because it's just broad and easy to recognize. I've never had that experience specifically with them, and they've always been great to me, um, but it's uh, into my films. But you know, I think it's just it's someone that can help navigate it, especially if you never have before. So I, I really strongly encourage it. I think of all festival expenses, it's probably one of the most important to consider. But if you're playing a smaller regional festival, you'll probably be okay because usually. You know, you'll have some press there, and mostly local press, and they're gonna want they're gonna want to seek you out. You know, they're gonna want they're gonna on their end. You know, they don't. There's maybe 15 movies in the festival, or 20, as opposed to 200. So, um, it, it's each situation is its own, but it's definitely something I encourage on the on the bigger festivals.